today I, I will describe our discovery enhancing immunotherapy using endoplasmic reticulum or ER stress pathway inhibitors. And in the fight against cancer, our team made of uh, Jose Conejo Garcia, Fred Locke, and Paulo Rodriguez, all of us from the Department of Immunology, discovered that therapeutic inhibition of the ER stress mediators per can 91 restores protective anti-tumor immunity by increasing the immunostimulatory potential of the tumor cells, tumor infiltrating myeloid cells, and tumor associated T cells, which thereby improve the effects of promising immunotherapies. So this discovery is associated with modulation of the endoplasmic reticulum uh, stress responses. And this process, the ER stress process, of course, in all in, uh, populations present in tumors. Normally they are the result of multiple stress associated events, including different conditions in the tumor microenvironment. Also metabolic alterations that occur in these tumor associated populations. There is also a significant induction of uh, oncogenic associated stress that will result in the induction of ER stress. And importantly, different therapies can also induce activation of ER stress in, in the tumor associated cells. And it has become evident that the activation of ER stress in different populations in tumors is associated with their overall adaptation and survival. And normally this occurs through three different mechanisms or three different branches. One is the activation of the ID1 the other one is the activation of a kinase called PERC. And the third signaling is associated with activation of a transcription factor called ATF5, ATF6. As I said, all these different activation of unfolded protein responses uh, mediators will lead to the adaptation and survival of the tumor cells. So we are in particular interested by in the activation of the ID1 and PERC and how they could modulate the responses of immune uh, cells against uh, tumors. And what we found was that the activation of ER stress kinase PERC in the tumor infiltrating myeloid cells, and in particular the myeloid drug suppressor cells or MDSCs, plays an important role in the functionality of this population. And importantly, we found that inhibition or deletion of PERC in these MDSCs or other myeloid populations entirely reprogrammed their functionality into cells that were capable of activating anti-tumor T cell responses in the tumor beds. Importantly, we also found an increased expression of PERC in, in, in uh, the tumors in mouse and, and cancer populations, and this correlated with poor overall survival. And our results show that inhibition of PERC was capable of leading to effective T cell responses in tumors, but also increased the activity of T cell based and checkpoint based immunotherapies. Mechanistically, we found that inhibition of PERC was disrupting nerve 2 signaling, and this leads to leakage of mitochondrial DNA, which thereby activates the STING IRF3 pathway that thereby increase the expression of type one interference, driving the reprogramming of immunosuppressive myeloid cells into cells capable of activating protecting T cell responses. Then we also focus on the activity of the PERC and CHOP interaction in tumor infiltrating T cells. And in a population of ovarian cancer patients, we found that the increased expression of this axis was associated with poor clinical outcome in, in ovarian carcinoma patients. And what we found was that the reactive oxygen species that are present in the tumor microenvironment were driving the activation of PERC in the tumor infiltrating T cells. And through a mechanistic signaling pathway, this was inducing the expression of CHOP1 and CHOP was preventing the, the upregulation of TBET in these tumor infiltrating T cells, which impaired their effector capacity, but also their metabolic fitness or adaptations in the tumor microenvironment. So when we uh, targeted 
the per chop axis, either genetically or pharmacologically, we were able to restore T cell functionality in the tumor microenvironment, but also to increase the, to increase the activity of T cell based immunotherapy. And this created an opportunity to potentially target this in, in T cell uh, therapies. Also, our, our manuscript in preparation deals with the modulation of PERC signaling in the tumor cells. And what we found was that the activation of this kinase plays a key role in the survival of the tumors to ear stress, but also drives immunosuppression by controlling the overall immune inhibitory myeloquiesis. So we found that the activation of PERC also occurs in the tumor cells now in melanoma patients. And this correlated with a poor infiltration of T cells in, in tumors. And when we eliminated PERC or we inhibited PERC in the tumor cells, we noticed that these cells died in an immunogenic manner, induced abscopal anti-tumor effects, and these, uh, there, uh, and these uh, led to an activation of a permanent protective T cell immunity. Mechanistically, we found that the release of different mediators in cells that were lacking PERC were activating the type one interferon responses in myeloid precursors. And this drives the polarization of these precursors into a population of monocytic drive disease that were thereby activating T cell responses. So in general, we, we showed in our results that inhibition of different mediators of ER stress and unfolded protein responses, both in the tumor cells, the T cells and the myeloid cells resulted in the activation of protective immunity and increased activity of different forms of immunotherapy. I'll stop here, but if you have questions, you can contact our innovation office for uh, further follow-up. Thank you.